It is the PS1391 Sylvia from Ashima. It is today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome into the garage for today's What's in the Box. And we're looking at the Nissan Sylvia S13 for the 91 model year. So this is going to be a modified reissue with some new parts tooled up for it. This is going to be for the 91 model year for the late uh, to the late version. Uh, this kit is going to give you the option to do the late version K's to the early version Q's and J's. This also includes the SR20 DET ha top half engine stuff, so it'll look like it'll have engine detail. It has a new aero front bumper, a new set of decals for early late type selection, a new uh, original rear wing, and a new set of wheels. I believe these wheels were also newly tooled up for this kit. So this tooling goes back to 2006 when it was initially released, and there has for the S13 anyways. And there has been a whole lot of variations of this S13 released over the last decade and a half, and we could do a whole video on just the different variations of the S13. So if you're interested in yourself, you can go look that up. So with that, let's get to it and check it out. And getting started with the body. And getting us started will be the chassis plate. This is used in a lot of different forms of Nissan kits. And move on to the next the suspension chassis parts tree, which has a little bit of everything on it suspension parts. And we're on to the next parts tree, which will have the brakes and the S15 headlight piece. So you can see these parts are shared between all these the S13s, the 15s. And then we're gonna take a look at some of the body parts on the separate trees. So first front rear bumper and some wings. So on this parts tree, you won't be using this front bumper, but we'll be using the rear bumper and the choice of wings. And this is gonna be the one for this variation. So over here, here's the arrow front bumper that was done for this variation. And you have the hood and mirrors. And while we're at it, a set of exhaust, the rear muffler exhaust piece and the set of exhaust tips. And moving on to the next set of parts trees. This is gonna be mostly the engine parts, if you will. Again, this is not a full engine. These are all, all everything is half molded. There's only half of the pieces, half of the stuff there, not a full engine detail. And moving on to the interior parts tree. And one last interior piece will be the seats. You have a selection of a choice of uh, seat backs. And the chrome parts tree, which consists of exhaust piping. For a selection of front headlight pieces and the mirror faces. Maybe you will not be using, you won't be using this exhaust piece for this variation. Now take a look at the wheels. I was mistaken, these are not newly tooled up wheels. They're just being used for this kit. They were tooled up some years ago. 
And now take a look at the tire bag. Set of uh, tires, they do have some sidewall detail on them. They do say Pirelli. And now so you got a set of springs, poly caps, and license plate backing metal piece. Now take a look at the clear parts and the clear transparent parts. First, the main headlight, headlight parts tree. Most of it anyways. And then the window piece with some other clear lenses on it. And finally, last bit of things to look at. First, you get a set of uh, mesh screen for the use for the uh, grill. A set of window masks. A set of chrome film-like material. And the decal sheet. So that is going to do it for this look at the Sylvia PS13, the 1991 model year from Ashima. Yes, I'm pretty sure you can probably get some Sylvia Nissan Color Match paint for scale finishes. So on that note, thanks for watching.